As the world of MMA was celebrating a truly epic card at Madison Square Garden this past weekend, which saw two new champions crowned, there was an extremely sad piece of news concerning the mixed martial arts family. Late Sunday, November 13th, it was revealed that UFC and Bellator legend Anthony Rumble Johnson had sadly passed away. Today, we're discussing all things Anthony Johnson, looking at his career and subsequent passing, so stay tuned. Before we do anything, let's take a quick look at the great man's career. Anthony Johnson was quite simply a freak of nature. One of the hardest punchers ever to grace combat sports, Rumble first turned out for the UFC in just his fourth professional fight at the age of 23, and he showed glimpses of what was to come after he knocked his opponent out in the very first round. His first stint with the top promotion was largely spent at welterweight, beating the likes of Dan Hardy who had just fought for the welterweight crown. However, after losing the final fight of his first UFC run to Vitor Belfort, which was incidentally his middleweight debut, Rumble would move on to tight Titan FC and later WSOF, which saw him move up to light heavyweight and later heavyweight. However, he wasn't away from the UFC long, and just over two years later, would be back to fight at UFC 172, beating Phil Davis by unanimous decision. He would back that performance up with wins against Lil Nog and Alexander Gustafsson, before losing to DC in his first ever UFC title shot, light heavyweight. He wouldn't let that disappointment deter him, however, and would win his next three against Jimmy Manua, Ryan Bader, and Glover Texiera before coming up short against Cormier once again. Johnson would fight for the last time in his career for Bellator against Jose Augusto Azevedo in May 2021, finishing how he spent the majority of his career. By displaying that terrifying one-punch knockout power, what was the best win of Johnson's career for you? We're discussing that legendary power a little more now. Stick around. Rumble took on Charlie Brenneman back in 2011, winning via head kick KO in the very first round and the former MMA fighter and current motivational speaker spoke about what it's like to be hit by Anthony Johnson a few years back. Talking in the build-up to Johnson's second fight with Daniel Cormier back in April 2017, Brenneman explained that, quote, it's like sprinting into a brick wall and saying, I can't stop. And boom, you hit the wall. When asked what it was like to be hit by Rumble, England's Dan Hardy, who was KO'd by Rumble in March 2011, explained it like this, quote, his hands, and certainly his legs when he kicked me, feel like it's made out of lead. And Rashad Evans, who trained with the big man for years, said that when Rumble came into the gym with a quiet mood, you need to be aware because on those days, he was coming hard. Evans, who won the UFC light heavyweight title after beating Forrest Griffin back in 2008, revealed that in training, AJ would try to take it easy, but it would only take quote, one hard punch, then all hell breaks loose. Also adding that Rumble knocked out countless people at their training facility, Evans also faced some of the biggest punchers the UFC had ever seen during his title run, but went on to describe Rumble as the hardest puncher I've ever experienced for sure. Crazy. A quick look at the middleweight title fight from this past weekend now. Stay tuned. Rumble Johnson fought in the UFC's middleweight division back in January 2012, losing via submission to fellow legend Vitor Belfort. However, he unfortunately never fought for the title. That same title was up for grabs this past weekend as Israel Adesanya looked to defend his crown against Brazil's Alex Pereira. Unfortunately for the Nigerian Kiwi, he would come unstuck against his longtime tormentor for the third time in his career, following his previous two losses to Pereira when both were kickboxers. Adesanya looked to have the Brazilian in deep trouble at the end of the first, but Pereira was saved by the bell. Later in that fight, Potan seemed to gas out with Izzy asserting his dominance. It appeared as though Stylebender was cruising towards yet another decision win. But then Pereira struck, knocking out his opponent with some perfectly placed punches up against the cage and a new middleweight champion was crowned. Did you guys watch this one over the weekend? Pereira has praised an old Rumble opponent for his win next. Stick around. Anthony Johnson flatlined Glover Texiera back in August 2016 in yet another terrifying display of his one-punch power, but Glover didn't let that disappointment stop him from achieving his goal of becoming world champion, as he would go on to claim the title after submitting Jan Blackowitz last year. Glover and newly crowned middleweight champion Alex Pereira trained together, and in the wake of his title win, the Brazilian has heaped a ton of credit on Glover, who was also in his corner for Saturday night's fight. After the fight, Pereira conceded that he 
knew it was going to be a very hard fight, but also revealed that Glover was up front with him going into the last round. Oftentimes, cornermen will inexplicably lie to their chargers, telling them everything is fine, but Pereira was clearly losing the fight, and Texiera was pulling no punches. He told Poton exactly what was needed of him, and that he was actually losing the fight. Pereira says he asked Glover if he needed a KO, to which he was told in no uncertain terms that he did. Once he had come to terms with what was needed of him, Pereira revealed that he thought to himself, okay, let's do this. Whilst Pereira is easily one of the most terrifying strikers right now, similar to how Rumble was viewed, Adesanya has come in for some criticism of late for appearing to have taken his eye off the prize. What do you guys think? We're discussing Johnson's sad passing now, stay with us. The world of MMA is in mourning right now as the news of Anthony Johnson's untimely death broke yesterday, November 13th. Rumble had been ill for a year or so, and it is thought his passing took place after organ failure due to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis. Respected MMA journalist Ariel Helwani led the tributes to Johnson as he took to Instagram to confirm the legend's passing. He wrote, quote, Anthony Rumble Johnson passed away today. He was 38 years old. Johnson had been battling an illness for quite some time, one of the hardest hitters and most talented fighters in MMA history, gone way too soon. Of course, Helwani's tribute was echoed by plenty of others around the sport, and his manager, Ali Abdelaziz, confirmed the devastating news by revealing he was heartbroken by what had happened in the wake of UFC 281. Johnson had shocked the world at the end of last year as he posted a worrying update to his social media account which read, quote, really wish I could go into detail about just how ill I truly am. Just know I need as many prayers as I can get, and I'll see you in 2022, God willing. Never been this afraid of anything in my life, but I've remained strong with the support of my friends and family. A true talent and a huge loss to the sport of MMA. Give us your thoughts on Rumble below. And what about the reaction of Johnson's fellow pros? Let's see. Anthony Johnson was universally liked and respected around the sport of mixed martial arts, and that was evidenced in the outpouring of love he has received in the past 24 hours. Daniel Cormier, who fought and beat Rumble, in two World Light Heavyweight title fights during their UFC days encouraged the departed Johnson to rest easy before explaining that for someone who was so terrifying, Rumble was actually a caring person. He then revealed that his old friend will be missed before saying that sometimes life doesn't seem fair. It truly doesn't. Following legend Michael Bisping, who fought in the same middleweight and light heavyweight divisions Johnson once terrorized, said, quote, utterly shocked and saddened by this. Rest in peace. Sincere condolences to all his family and loved ones. Paige Van Zant, who now turns out for the BKFC, simply said, Rest in peace, legend. Whilst Michael Chiesa described Rumble as one of the most prolific KO artists our sport has ever seen, which is difficult to disagree with. And another legend of the game, former UFC referee Big John McCarthy, explained how he was crushed to learn of the news of Johnson's passing, before going on to describe him as one of the good guys, who will of course be missed by all those he touched. Why don't you guys leave a nice tribute for Rumble? below in the comment section, please. As always, thank you so much for stopping by today, and remember to swing by again next time when we will be discussing all sorts of other interesting bits and pieces. And why not do us a big favor by liking today's video whilst also sharing it with any UFC or Rumble Johnson fans you might know of. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more great videos, and of course, rest in peace Anthony Johnson.